came here tonight to my little corner of paradise. My name is Jesse B. Gunn. You can call me J.B. I was born in 1896 in Iron City by the Sea. I call it Iron City by the Sea, but you probably can just call it Iron City. I married Eugenia. We had two sons, Elton and Blackwood, better known as Blackie. Elton loved to fish, and if you go over there and look on his tombstone, right there, he says, go on fishing. Go on fishing. <laughs> he was, and Blackie was a fabulous dancer. He traveled all over the United States. He was in Hollywood and went to New York and performed on Broadway. I had a house on the river. That was a party house for me and all my friends. People refer to it as the devil den. I can't tell you what all went on down there. I'll just leave it to your imagination. My friends and I were down there all the time. And we were always up to something. My dad refused to go. But finally, he got up the nerve and he went. And I told him he made the team. It's a funny thing, you know, I surrounded myself with people like me, with different people. What I meant by that, my dad didn't always agree with my lifestyle. I had a sales manager at the car dealership that was the exact opposite of me. Some of you might remember it, Branson Harrison. But I'm sure you've always noticed it. I love to have a good time. I always liked to pop a corn, too, but not Branson. He was a devout Baptist. And you know how these Baptists are. I always like Methodist fellow. They'll speak to you in the liquor store. I've had fun all my life, even in my job. I opened Gun Motors in 1947. We had a huge party, thousands of people from several states attended the grand opening. It featured Ted Weems and his orchestra. Governor Emmy Thompson came and spoke. The entire program was broadcast over WMGR. Mr. Vance Custer Sr. served as master of ceremonies. Major Mayor Gene Cox was there, A.B. Conger. I think you're meeting some of them tonight. They all had a few words. I think I'll always be known for bringing the orchestra to town. It was quite an event, certainly one that I won't ever forget. I died in 1964. Mayo Livingston Sr. was one of my good friends. We always had some kind of friendly competition, and I always joked with him that when I died, I'd have a bigger tombstone than he did. <laughs> and that's his. Mayo Livingston Sr. is over there somewhere. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to share my thoughts with you and for you to come. Have a good time tonight and drink one for Jesse. <laughs> <laughs>